Hi guys, so I'm actually doing a true unboxing today. I haven't been here in a very, very long time. I've been quite busy with life, traveling. I've been to Grenada and Mexico, and um, I'm going on a cruise soon, and then I'll be heading to Jamaica. So I've just been busy living life, um, having a good time. You know, life is so short, and so for me, um, I've just been trying to travel more and just really be on the outside. So anyway, I wanted to share this because I have been wanting to grab one of these bags for a very long time. And I finally decided to subscribe to their emails. Once I did that, I was able to get the notifications for when it would be time to purchase. So that was this past Monday. Um, shipping was super fast. I can't believe I placed an order on Monday and it's Friday and it's here. Although the processing time stated that it was gonna be about 14, seven to 14 business days before it actually shipped. I purchased it on Monday afternoon and it's here today. So that made me happy um, because my birthday is on Monday and this was a early birthday present for myself, from me to me. Um, so I'm gonna be utilizing this uh, item as a work bag. I work mainly from home, but um, I may be doing a little bit more um, in my current position that's gonna probably take me out of the house a little bit more often. So I'm gonna utilize this um, item as a work bag. So I want to show you how it came. And what I like about the packaging just on the outside is that it doesn't tell you where it came from. I cannot tell you how many of my packages have been stolen because the store puts Saks on the front or Nordstrom's on the front, or it just let you know what the item is because they didn't do anything but just stick a packing sticker on it. And so that item now, someone can see it if they're just, you know, walking past your home, they can swipe it and be on the go. So what I like about this is that it doesn't announce, you know, where it came from. Unless someone is really studying this particular brand and probably, you know, may know, but the brand name is not on the outside of the box at all. So I love that about the packaging. So it came in this little flat like box, okay? And I have not opened it um, because I said I wanted to do like a true unboxing because I, I never really do. Normally I'm coming after I've already um, opened it. So let me use, I'm gonna use my keys cut the tape. Um, and like I said, I have been wanting one for a long time and it's been the hype for a long time. Um, well before Beyonce said it in her music, but just it's been on my radar to buy, but not as a, like an everyday piece or even, not even a staple piece, but just a bag that one I just wanted to have in my collection and um it was affordable, it wasn't very expensive. So yeah, I'm I'm rambling, so let me just get into it. So put that down there. So here we are. The infamous Telfar bag. Okay, so this is all the craze all of a sudden, um, mainly because I want to say because Beyonce mentioned it in her Renaissance um, new album. But like I said, I have been wanting to grab one, but they're always sold out online and you can never get them. So the trick, if you're looking to get one, is to subscribe to their newsletter and they will email you when their collections are dropping with the color and the date. So I think yesterday, a really pretty green, like a lime green dropped. 
Um, it's a really cute name, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, that dropped, I believe, yesterday. Now on Monday, my actual birthday, August 15th, um, it will be a chocolate color, like chocolate brown. I want to say it's, I want to say it's called chocolate, but it's a really dark brown. It's really, really nice. Um, so if you're in the market of wanting one, you should go sign up for the newsletter tonight so that you can be alerted when it drops on Monday. Personally, I don't want a brown one, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to go off to to get that. But this one was just beautiful in color. So the packaging is packaged really nice. As you can see, it's in a dust bag. So let's take a look and see what I got. So really nice dust bag. And there's the Telfar um, symbol here on the front. It is a black owned um, company. And I wanna say, I think they're out of New York. I'm not positive, but I just thought this one was really pretty. I thought it was just gorgeous. And it's also, um, the color is also my daddy's favorite color. And um, bless his heart, he's no longer with me, but he's here with me in spirit, of course. But I just thought this was so, pretty like the color and the name of the color was called cobalt blue and it is just very very pretty this is um vegan leather so um i'm a fan of vegan leather because my car um my tesla has vegan leather seats and um i was like okay i'm like i can get with the vegan leather for a, a handbag but like i said i'm going to be using this more so as a work tote i probably will not use this as a everyday um purse okay but it comes with these nice oh look it i want to say this is hmm, this is a velcro type um I thought it was tape, but it's actually a Velcro, like sticker, like a little, well, that's pretty neat that they didn't tape it or whatever. But as you can see, it's a long strap. Okay. Very long strap, very long. Um, so I guess if you want to cross body it, you could. And then if you open it up, it's really just one big hole. Now for me, I think the straps are gonna be just probably too long. So I probably, for me, I probably won't, let me just see. Let me just stand up so I can see where it hits me. And yeah, I may be able to get away with crossbody a little bit, but it is such a beautiful blue. It's just so beautiful, I love it. So yeah. Let's see. So, all right. So, let's get back. These straps are like, <laughs> these straps are hella long. So, for me, what I'll probably do is stuff them inside, okay? So, for a work bag for me, it would, it would probably benefit me to do this, okay? So, I'm just going to stuff them in for just a moment because they're just like all over the place. And they're kind of driving me a little batty. So for me, I would carry it as a work bag, like so, okay? So as you can see, it's a little it's a little wrinkly because it's been folded, but I'm sure with wear and tear and as you put your stuff in, it will probably, you know, start to work, work out. But so it doesn't have feet, okay? So no feet on the bottom, um, but I never put my bags on the floor. Now this may be an exception because it is a work bag. So I may find myself putting this on the floor, not positive, but this this particular one was $202. So still to me, very affordable um, for vegan leather. There's not a whole lot of design to this though. It's very clean, pretty, pretty cut, clean, simple, nothing, um, you know, like I said, there's 
there's not a whole lot, you know, going on here with the bag. Like, but like I said, I think the bag became popular because of Beyonce. So now you, you couldn't find it before, but now you really can't. So you got to be quick because if you don't get, if you don't be very quick, the bots will get a hold of it first. I didn't have a problem. It was kind of odd because I had totally forgot about the drop. So by the time I realized there was a drop, it was late afternoon. The small was sold out. The large was sold out. This is the medium, okay? The medium is big enough for me. I don't need the large. The large is just like, to me, the large would be like your spend the night bag, you know, that little bag you carry to spend the night at your booze house or whatever. I would use it for something like that. This is going to be strictly a work bag. And it's just so pretty. Like I fell in love with the color. So if it was the chocolate brown that had dropped on Monday, I would have opted not to get that one because I, I wouldn't have wanted that color. This color is just so pretty. It's just gorgeous. It's just really, really nice. So let me just let me just let you guys see the inside. And I know there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of unboxings on this. So I know you've seen, you know, these millions and millions of times. I do think I want the really pretty pink one. So let me just show you what the inside looks like. These straps, I swear these straps are like ugh. So anyway, the inside looks like this. Like I said, it's just one big hole. As you can see, it has a little label for tail far here. And then you have one zipper compartment. So for here, I would put like, you know, maybe my wallet if I was going to just carry this bag um, and forego like taking a purse. Or I would just dump my purse down inside of this bag. So that's how it looks in the inside. You know, pretty roomy, pretty big. Okay. So pretty big and um, yeah, so I just wanted to do like this really quick unboxing just to show you this new beautiful bag. It is just so pretty. I can't, even, I can't get over how pretty it is. One of my girlfriends said that she uh, felt like it looked um, cheap and not, you know, very nice, but I actually like it and it, and it doesn't feel cheap. It's well made. The stitching is really nice. Um, so I'm glad I didn't go with what she said. Her name is Tasha, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I actually just ordered it. And, um, I don't know what this is. No idea what this is. I've never seen one of these before. If anybody knows what it is, please let me know. I mean, I have no idea what this is. Kind of was just stuck on the bag, so... Um, I'm sure it's in here for a reason and was put on the bag or maybe it was put in the packaging for a reason, but I have no idea. So anyway, this is my new Telfar handbag that I bought for myself, shopping bag that I bought for myself for my birthday. And I just wanted to share really quickly with you guys. I think I would probably purchase more. So um, I think I will probably purchase Maybe the pink one, if it comes up for sale again. Um, and possibly the black. Definitely the black. I think I would probably definitely get the black. But this was just beautiful. I thought this was just really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm surprised that one of my YouTuber friends hasn't purchased one. Or maybe I just, I haven't been looking. I've been dealing with life and just allergies, which... I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are just kind of crazy looking, but I've been dealing with just life in general and just haven't had uh, a, a opportunity to really look around on YouTube, but um, I changed my hair again. She typically is my go-to channel for when I'm looking for new items, so typically I tend to see what she's got going on, and then if it's something that I really have to have, then I'll, I'll beeline it and get it but I don't know if she has purchased one of these yet or if she just has no interest in it. It could be she just doesn't have an interest. So I'm, I'm curious to see um, what she has to say, but that's it. I just wanted to share this really quickly on this Friday night. 
I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. It's pretty early, but I am actually tired. My allergies are kicking my butt. Um, I will probably come back and do a video on what I got for my birthday. It will probably not be on my birthday, but I'll do it probably at some point. I won't make any promises because I'm pretty busy most of the time and I just don't have the time to dedicate to YouTube um, like most do. But, you know, for me, it's just fun here and there, but I don't, I don't, um, I just don't have the time. I'm busy. So I am going to say goodbye whenever you see this video. Good morning, good night, have a beautiful weekend or week, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, take care. Bye.